Hey guys, this is Jason from Listography. Hope everybody's holding up all right out there. Uh, the only good thing about quarantine is that we all get to listen to a lot of music while we're at home. And uh, hopefully today I can give you some uh, good ideas for some new music to check out. Um, some of my favorite records of the first third of 2020. Now usually these videos are probably gonna cover a few weeks of releases, some of the best uh, things that have just come out. But since it's been a while since I've done a video uh, about new music, I thought I'd rewind a little bit, cover a bit more ground. Initially I was gonna come on and talk about maybe my 10 favorite records of the year so far. But that seemed like maybe a few too many. I want to keep the video kind of short for you guys. So just put a couple records up here that I think you'll enjoy. And then just talk about a, a few of my very, very favorite. The, the first one I want to talk about is a record called The World at Night by Walter Martin. He's a former member of The Walkman. He's been putting out solo albums for a little while now. And they're all really good, but this one especially really, really uh, struck me as a, a step forward for him in, his, in terms of his songwriting. His songs are funny, they're sad, um, they really encapsulate a broad range of emotions and really, I think, do a great job of capturing what it's like to be a human, and it's a great record for these times that we're in right now. The instrumentation on it is great as well, couldn't recommend it enough. The second record I want to talk about is called Star Maker by Honey Harper. Uh, this is an artist that was new to me this year that I discovered. Uh, this is the debut record on ATO Records. This is kind of like uh, Cosmic uh, Country Americana record, lots of pedal steel all over it, and uh, for the most part fairly traditional uh, country songwriting. But uh, throughout the whole thing there's all these little more modern sounding production uh, quirks to it, some vocoded vocals, some nice synth beds as well, which is a really nice uh, juxtaposition between the uh, sonic landscapes and the songs themselves. I also want to shine a light on the new Waxahachie record, uh, St. Cloud. Waxahachie, of course, being the name that Katie Crutchfield releases records under. She's been putting out uh, excellent records for a number of years now. Great indie songwriting, and she has an amazing voice. But here she changes up the sound a bit, a little less uh, reliant on electric guitars, a little bit more acoustic here. Not a huge change in terms of the style of songs that she's writing, but it's definitely her best set of songs to date. And the slight tweak to the production really lets the quality of those songs come to the forefront. I think this is easily her best record so far. And last but not least, I want to talk a little bit about Daniel Romano, who is one of my favorite songwriters right now. He's had an absolutely unbelievable decade. If you're not familiar with his music, I highly recommend diving into his back catalog. He's got a lot of albums. He's already put out four records, uh, two studio albums, an EP, and a live album just since the beginning of this quarantine. He put out three records in 2018, and he put out my favorite record of 2017, Modern Pressure. So there's really a lot to get into with him. Like I said, he's put out a few this year already, including Visions of the Higher Dream, uh, which is more of a rock record, kind of in line with 2017's Modern Pressure. Uh, he also put out an EP called Super Pollen, which is a little more aggressive, sort of punkier, kind of in line with his side project. Ancient Shapes. And then he released a record just today, uh, which is more country, lots of pedal steel, great, great songwriting. Feels more like the natural follow-up to 2015's If I've Only One Time Asking. But specifically, the album that I really want to talk about today is the live album called OK Wow. This is one of, if not my very favorite live album of all time. The energy on this thing is just incredible. The versions of the songs that he does here are very different from the studio versions. A lot of these songs existed on his more country styled albums, but there's nothing country really on this record at all. This is a really amped up, high energy rock and roll. His brother plays drums in the band, Ian Romano, a fantastic drummer, very Keith Moon-esque. All the songs here kind of are being played probably a few BPMs faster than they need to be, but it, it really just propels the energy and the feeling of the live show. Uh, the rest of his band is great as well. There's great guitar playing on this thing, uh, great organ and female backing vocals as well. If you've ever seen um, Bob Dylan played Letterman in the early 80s when he played Joker Man. I kind of liken this record to that performance, just like the most raucous version of folk songs that you could possibly imagine. And I, I really highly recommend that anyone that is uh, fans of this channel check out if you think that your musical taste is at all in line with mine. 
Um, I think this is a, a home run. But yeah, those are my staff picks for this inaugural episode. Please make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the videos. Um, subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified when our new videos come out. And we'll be seeing you soon, Cramser, Joe, and myself, uh, with some more listographies and uh, some more of these staff picks for you as well. Hope you're all doing well, and uh, we will see you soon.